What's up, people? Uncle Ming here. So I tried to do this. This is my third time doing this video. Uh, the first time, right when I started, I got a phone call. The second time, I did not have my mic on, so I have to go through this all over again. And I'm going to probably do it just as good as the second time, but not as good as the first time. But either way, it's still going to be pretty awesome. Anyway, so the tracker, people have been asking me about the tracker that I use whenever I go on live. And I'm trying to get a little bit better about making videos versus just going live because when I go live, I don't have time to explain to people. So what I'm doing is I want to have my channel full of everything that I can just so, you know, if somebody says, hey, what is this or what is that? I can just go and say, hey, here's the link to it. Go watch this video or check it out. You know, um, as I tell people, I'm going to say it in the beginning, like or subscribe if you want to. I don't care personally. I'm not built on the fu uh, fact fixation of i think if that's the, the words to use i'm not fixated on youtube paying me to teach people how to do things what i feel is correct now that's the best way i could word it but if in fact you found this video please watch to the end like i said on my whole entire channel i don't want clickbait i don't put anything up that i feel would waste anyone's time and it also is not a time waster if i'm actually putting it up you know, if you have some people who actually, some videos on YouTube, when you go to search roulette or whatever, they have videos that say, you know, win all the time or, you know, 80% win ratio or something, just something that makes you end up hedging your bet, losing money, or in fact, just not, they just want to see what would happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like when people do like the rappers, right? So <clears throat> Sorry, rappers rap about gang banging and all this good stuff, and most of them don't do it. They want you to go out and do it or have the mentality that you can go do it, and when you go do it, you get locked away forever and ever and ever. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened if you are thinking about doing it because you're watching this video for me to tell you that. So don't go do what the rappers are saying. Just watch the videos and think they're cool and look at the women that's in the videos. Anyway, so now let me try to go back through this whole um through this and I'm going to do this in a quote unquote dumbed down or layman's terms. Um, I'm going to go through everything about this, this, um, this, uh, app as best I can, because when you leave things out or when you feel things are left out, then you have to go back and say, Oh, well I forgot this. So I'm going to go through every single thing and I'm going to try to make it as, as elaborated as possible. Now, granted, like I told y'all, you can like and subscribe if you want to. I could care less. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I'm going to be an influencer based on the fact that, or I'm, you know, I'm going to get sponsored and then they're going to cancel their sponsors. I don't care about none of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? I want people to win. I want people to make money. And this is probably one of the, one of the nicer ways to do it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the um smart roulette tracker as it says really really big he picked a really weird font i don't even think this guy updates this anymore i think when he put it out it was pretty much like this is it it's finished i don't have to update it there's nothing wrong with it you know he left it at that now as you see i'm using the Knox player i'm on a desktop or uh, windows desktop i think mine is windows 10 windows yeah windows 10 or something like that um, Knox player, Google it if you want to. It's an emulator for Android. Um, if you are in my discord, which as you see across the, the bottom scrolling, it says link in the description and all that good stuff. You know, that's just me promoting myself. You don't have to do none of that. You don't have to join the discord. You can stay here on YouTube or Twitch or wherever this video ends up at. And if you're following me or whatever, it doesn't matter. I talk a lot, so I'm going to go through a whole lot and this video is probably going to be decently long to make sure that I get everything and you know I just want to make sure everything's good so first off let me shrink my screen because when I get into this I want to make sure that um, you can see everything so I'm gonna start right here which is the the front page of the app this nice little circle and line over here is going to be the off button that means if you click it it asks you if you want to leave or if you're using the emulator, you can hit this and it still will ask you if you want to leave. Also, when we get into the program, which is this play button, um, it will give you a list of options for hitting the back button because you won't be able to hit a power button or a off button 
whatever you get that far. This nice little button in the middle with the gears, just like on your cell phone for most of you, it is the settings, right? So roulette type, European, if you are a person who has access to European, and I'm glad that I actually have to do this again because I think I kind of, I felt like when I recorded the last video, even though it was not, um, the audio wasn't there, I feel like I, somebody will be like, oh, you just kind of call me stupid based on the things that I said. But I was not, and I'm not even going to go back into that. But European, the European roulette, if you have the option to play that, please do. Because the house advantage is a 2.7%. So that means for every hundred dollars that you uh, that you play, I think it will be two dollars and seventy cents that you would technically lose to the casino. And then the American has a five point two six house advantage. So if you have to play it, if you really really have to play it, just go ahead with the American wheel. But the thing is. Uh, I want to tell you in advance, please do not let the house advantages stick to your mind. Because when you are winning, you are winning. You see what I'm saying? Um, if you go look at my $12 bet, uh, it's, it's 12 numbers in a row. You get $24 for every win. But in the $12 bet, you lose $11 every time that you, um, that you win. So that means that one dollar is only going to land on one number, right? You're losing eleven dollars to get twenty-four. You do the math on your own. You feel some type of way. Let it blow over your head or whatever it is. Me personally, I say twelve dollars. You giving me twenty-four? Thanks. Let me just try to win now. You know, house advantage to me is is just another thing for somebody to worry. If you got anxiety, it's gonna blow you out the roof to be like, oh god, oh god, they're gonna get two point seven percent of oh oh. And then you start flipping out and betting irrationally. Also, if you bet with emotions, please stop gambling altogether because it broke me or I had to break myself from emotional gambling. And what is that? That means if your number is one pocket away and I do sometimes relapse, you know, on my live videos, I'll start getting pissy because a normal casino doesn't do the things that I see on the uh, site that I play on, which is usually coast, with Costa Ricans, and they don't really care. They just say, well, we're going to send a support ticket, and I never get paid back for the money that I miss. Big story, a big different story. They always say, oh, we compensated you for it, but I was playing while you was compensating me. I wanted to see that compensation in a whole different area. If I lost all my money tomorrow or two days, three days, and whatever from now, I want to see it freshly added back to my balance not where i'm sitting here betting on auto bet and y'all just slide it in there and i never know the difference see what i'm saying anyway so like i said pick european uh roulette and then um language everybody is not going to speak the same language so if you manage to be able to read enough english to get to this part you can change it to whatever you're fluent in or nearly fluent in um as you see i'm I'm country as ever, so I'm going to use English. Strategies. Now, these are all diff These are some of the strategies that God put in when he built this app. And, you know, me personally, I don't use any of these. I don't. Uh, the people who ask me about it in my Discord, I just tell them, you know, if you see fit, use it. But me personally, I like my bets. I like the way that I bet because it's, it's in some cases, it's not too much. You know, depending on how much money I have is depending on what I do. And if I have to get into quote unquote survival mode, which if you go look at one of my videos, um, one of my live videos, I went down to zero, zero. And I had $15 for my last bet and my last bet won. And then it won again. And before long, I was back in action. It doesn't take long with some of the bets that I make, which is the reason why I make the, I have a lot of low bets. You know, you see like $12, $18, $20 bets because I want the person who, who says I can't, or I don't have enough money for that. I want those people to win. You know, the people who got thousands of dollars to throw away into playing roulette or whatever gambling that they're doing, they are like, oh, well, one day you'll get there. Well, I want to get there now. 
I want to get there soon. I want to get there. How did you get there? Most people don't want to share their secrets, but here I am, you know, and it's really not even a secret. It's common sense. Everything is on the wheel. Everything is right there in your face. And all you got to do is just utilize it. But here I am to point it out for you. So now, Lucky Nine and all this stuff, I will get into the betting strategies and show. But this is going to be probably a decently long video, and I'm going to try to go through every single thing um, about this, this app. Now, like I said, Google Knox Player, it's an Android emulator. If you're in my um, Discord already, uh, it's it's under the Uncle Ming's Useful Tools. If you're not on, on my um, Discord, feel free to look in the description and there should be um, a link to the Discord. Uh, when you come in, we talk about roulette. We try to help everybody out that, you know, that with our ideas. Most people just flock to the ideas that I have, which is pretty cool, you know, um, because I'm only giving the truth. I don't want anything like I, I don't know if I said it already on this video, but I did on the last video when I was trying to record it. My channel is going to be strictly, strictly non clickbait. Everything that I put on here, I'm going to try to make sure that it's not a waste of time for you to come and watch. So if you see me post a video or you see me going live, that's me actually doing things to help somebody or try to just show what I'm what I've come up with. I have so many ideas, but the problem is every time I remember, like I'll be like, oh, I got an idea right here. And then I'll say, okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video about it. And then I forget to make the video, and then I come up with another idea, and I'm like, there's another good idea. Wait, what was the last one? So yeah, you see what I'm saying. Anyway. So we're going to get right into it. If you're a person who doesn't like ads, this one has very minimal. There's always one at the beginning of the, of the um, when you open it. Uh, I personally just ignore it. When you press the play button, it brings this up and then it brings you to an ad. Sometimes it does two ads. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, I always mute it and then I wait for the thing for me to go through. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to go through this all the way through and through. That means I'm going to try to explain every single part of this because people who 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 I have told about this app, um, I, I just basically, I'm going through everything. That's what we're going to say. Um, when I look up the reviews and, and stuff for the Smart Roulette Tracker, I've never seen a full in-depth video about how to use it but I've been using it long enough to understand it. When I first got it, I was like, oh man, this is cool. Simply because the screen in the background, I seen it first. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool. And I didn't understand what I was doing. And um, I was just like, well, I'll just go ahead with that. So anyway, the first part is if you double click on any of this, whether you click it with your phone or click it with your using your phone, you double tap it, or if you use a mouse and you double click it, um, you basically can bring up a progression. This progression is a set progression. This means that when you, um, when you actually go in and you look at it, you say, okay, well, it says 200 units. That means you have to bet specifically how this is set up to bet. 200 units it could be $200. It could be $1,000 if you're using nickels. It could be $2,000 if you're using tens. Your imagination can go on through that and you just use a calculator to figure out everything that you, your base amount, whether it's quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and, and I say that as dollars, uh, you multiply by 200. If you hold your finger down on it, it gives you a different set of um, it gives you a different set of uh, uh, stats, I would say. And what you'll do is you'll follow a progression. That means the first one, if you're betting a dollar, it will be one dollar. The second one will be two dollars, all the way up into nine spins, which will be eighteen dollars. It's just a matter of do you want to go that far in life. And I recommend that you have a full bankroll. That means when you walk in there, you know, okay, I'm betting this amount. And if I lose, then I'm either going to go figure out another plan or I'm going to get some more money and do it all over again. So you can hit the do not show again and they won't show it ever again, ever that I know of because I've never, I mean, I've always done it. Um, but I always just hit close. Now, here's the playing field. <laughs> When you are on, which I probably will have to switch, go back out and switch it to American, but when you're on the European wheel, it shows this at the beginning. It shows um, the sections 
of the wheel. Now, if you're not familiar with that, please Google it. I'm not going to go through trying to get this video, uh, add the video in where it shows the wheel. But the wheel has sections. You know, most people just say, oh, I like numbers. Let me just stop everybody right then. Birthdays and favorite numbers are not relevant to the wheel. Please pick your numbers together. Don't put gaps in your numbers. You know, a lot of people, I mean, if you're, if your birthday is 728 and you know, just pick seven and 28, but if your birthday is like mine, where it's four, four and you know, that's four and eight, obviously. So four and eight are not close together as you can see. Anyway, let's just say, for instance, you're, you're watching, you wanted to put numbers in, you're trying to figure out how do I put in information in here? So you click this right here and it brings up the whole table. Let's say, for instance, 14 hit. Well, you would put in, you would just click 14 and it'll highlight here and then you press enter. If you accidentally don't, or if you don't want to put that in, you just hit the back button. Nothing's done. But for the sake of it, you put 14 in and boom. When you put it in there, it shows one spin and it tells you everything that plays against 14, as you can see. And then at the bottom, it highlights it. Now, um, most people, this is the tricky part because most people don't understand what's going on. I personally don't bet past um, whole numbers or straight numbers and splits. I don't go the streets and lines. I don't even see the purpose of them because when you're tracking, some of these numbers turn red and it basically tells you not to bet them again. That's when you see anything that's red, it basically says stop betting it. Don't put your money on that. With that being said, <clears throat> I'm going to show you what happens if, you know, just some random numbers. Um, if it doesn't hit Vazen's a few times, it goes into, um, it goes pretty bad. So I'm just going to put in some numbers because Vazen's only lets you get about five, four chances of betting. And then the fifth one, it doesn't let you bet. See what I'm saying? Okay, so tears, on the other hand, if you play, tears will let you go, I think it's uh, seven, seven spins. I got to keep from pressing the numbers where Vazen's is, or tears is, <clears throat> but I think it's, I think it's seven spins. And then on the seventh one, you can't do the eighth bet. There it is. Now, Orphalins takes you down through there for the long haul. Most people who bet orphans, either you got enough money to just sit there and let it keep losing until it hits, or you just, I don't know, you just like to play slow. And I, when I say play slow, it's a $5 bet. Uh, Vazen's is a $9 bet originally, and Tears is a $6 bet. So keep that in mind whenever you're trying to do your strategies or figure out what you want to do. Um, tears hits a lot. In, and that's why I'm pressing a lot of tiers, uh, trying to not press. Now, as you see, Orphalins is up to 10. It only lets you go to 11. So that gives you an idea. I'm just trying to show everybody, you know, like I said, I'm going to go through this all the way through. As you see these, when Vazen's pays out, it's a $9 bet. It pays you exactly $9 unless it hits the zero, the zero, two, or three based on the way that it's split. If you hit tiers, it pays a two to one. That means if you bet $6, it pays you $12 profit. If you bet Orphalins, you get a little bit more, which uh, depending on which number, every number except for one in 17 that is an Orphalins pays $18. Orphalin, uh, one in 17 pays 36. It's a pretty good advantage if you actually are just betting that and you get up to 10 and then you hit the one or you hit the 17. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway. So columns and dozens work the same um, it, for on this case. It plays against whatever number that you bet. So like I said, if you hold your finger down, it brings up the progression. You can reset it. You can you can put that you want to go 20 spins in, and you know that's pretty dangerous. I just usually stick with what it says. Um, I just leave it like that. But if you double-click it, it tells you what you need to do as far as the bet sequence. And it's pretty much the same on both of those because they both pay two to one. If you didn't know that, now you do. Outside bets are one to one. The slow bet, 
Um, me personally, I don't recommend being at the casino playing one-to-one -one bets or outside bets because of the simple fact you, most people say, I'm here for the entertainment. Well, I'm not entertained by sitting here for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours trying to recoup slow losses. You know, you bet on red and it hits black 10 times in a row. Now you're stuck trying to get those 10 back. It doesn't work that easy. You know, odd and even. You can play three and hit two and profit, right? Or you can just play one by itself and you just either slow bleed out or you can take it all the way up. Me personally, and just a, a word of advice, red is majority of any roulette wheel that I've ever seen. It usually hits more on red. I can't say much for odd or even or high or low, but on known colors, it does more red, and it just depends on where you are. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you go to the casino and bet red 50 spins in a row that you're going to hit all red. It just means that I've seen majority of it to be red. The outside bets work a little different. Um, they're pretty much a Martingale type system. Martingale is very dangerous. If you play Martingale, stop it. Just get off my channel or whatever it is that, you know, cause I, I personally hate Martingale. It doesn't do anything, but put you one unit ahead. That means if you spin this progression here and the whole 511 units, if you did that and you didn't hit after 256, you're just busted. But if you did hit 256, you're only up one unit. It's not fun. Um, I recommend, you know, trying to figure out something else, you know. So I've done the math on this. It takes $420 if you play nickels or $5 bets because most casinos will not allow you pay, to play a dollar unless you happen to be on some online, uh, some online type of scenario. <clears throat> um, each one of these spots is is the the progression is from five to thirty five dollars and that means each one of these slots has a hundred and forty dollars worth of play in them those seven spots and as you see there's six of them so do you want to do the math that's a lot okay i know i said that wrong <laughs> But, it, but it's actually 840 to cover them all but 140 I thought well if you're playing um if you're playing odd or odd or even red or black high or low then it's technically 420 but if you really want to be on the safe side and cover all your bets just use 840 if you play anywhere online where it can let you use dimes or you know change 50 cents or whatever you do the math on that and it just makes it a lot better but the odds of you winning is a lot worse because of the way that the, some of these online places do. They're not necessarily regulated by the U.S. And you know the U.S. loves to have them freaking hands and everything. Anyway, so streets, I don't really care for them. As you see, this is the longest drawn out betting sequence ever. But this whole, um, this whole idea for this is to help you to make money the way that it was set up it like so if you get into a spot where it's red that means they want you to stop losing and just keep betting on what is white and then once you do at some point in time you should i say should recap your money uh french bets up here this is the sections but if you click sections it shows you a whole different set of numbers if you have the opportunity to actually play um these numbers in the sequence that they have this when it says 15 that means 15 dollars on zero itself this means two dollars on each one of these numbers one and obviously you know one is on that um each one of them has a progression i always click i'm clicking on the progression simply because people can see it you know i, don't, I want people to be fully aware of what's going on like i said i'm going through everything on this i don't use lines i don't do, use streets um strategies as you see it's highlighted um, each one of these has its own set of, uh, numbers that pop up based on whatever you have entered in for the spins. Um, the 21 gun salute. I personally don't use that because when you're playing online or if you are at a casino where you can't have your phone, you ain't gonna be able to keep these up. No way. So, you know, I just, I just leave these alone altogether, but I have them highlighted so that I know when something actually is going on. Or happening as far as what could possibly 
win or whatever. And if you actually, let me go back in here. If you actually click question mark, it shows you um, what the sequence for betting is. And then it always tells you um, RNG roulette, which is the machine. If you go to any casino and there's an automatic machine, that's an RNG uh, roulette. Uh, you just play in a slot machine, try a live, a live wheel online. Unfortunately, the, the one that I play at, they kind of cheat. Well, no, they do cheat, and people cl clearly see it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it just tells you each one of them when you cl click in the question mark. So now, <clears throat> the fun part of the bottom is, first off, the sections. As you see up here, it tells you, you know, the numbers for those sections, but section A is the first 12 numbers out of the wheel to the right of the zero. The second one is the second second 12, and the third is obviously the third 12, and then section D is zero by itself. Um, once you double click on this, it shows you all the hit numbers. It shows you which one is in the lead, just in case you happen to not look down here and see, you know, um, in the yellow, which one is obviously right now, because I was clicking any random number, eight is the highest number. So when you go back in, double clicking, um, eight is gonna show as the highest number on this, this graph. Then it gives you the specs as far as the columns, the dozens, you know, every section that you've played as when you have the sections pulled up. When you have the French bets pulled up, it shows you the sections also everything but the, the french bets and the sections change so vazins if you when you start tracking majority of the places that you're going to play um if it's online vazins is probably going to be the winner you know be, mainly because zero players shout out to y'all who um and i hate to be like this but shout out to y'all who lose on the zero because it's just one pocket if you stripped all the numbers off the pockets and the colors you don't know where zero is so therefore, um, whenever I play, or if you see me playing on my lives, you see that I don't play zero, or if I do, it's included with a bunch of numbers already. And so it, to me, it's just a whole other number, just like any other one. But, um, French bets, it tells you, you know, the percentage all the way down to, I guess the 10th of, or yeah, somewhere around in there. It tells you exactly what it is. Um, you can hold your finger down on it or hold the mouse down on it. And this is a bunch like to actually go through. I don't know why it has so many sevens in there, but you know, that's what they put. He put in there. I don't understand why, but it's none of my business. So <clears throat> when I use this, um, when I use this personally, I switched it. I used to do just Vazen's Tears and Orphans, but the problem is, it's so many different numbers that you can bet, so many different ways you can bet. I click on the sections, and with me clicking on sections, it just shows me a lot better view of what I'm doing. Um, I've never honestly tried to put all those numbers, like $2 on every number out of that 12 and such and such, because the online play or the gameplay, you have to do this where you can put the numbers in and you can control the spin. If you don't, then obviously you're going to lose money because it's going to say no more bets and then it's going to be betting part of what you was trying to do. Um, when I use this, I also go into the bigger part and I look at what's been hit. So as you see, based on the numbers that I chose, section C is the hottest one. So that's where you would bet these 12 numbers. If you bet them solid, and you just stay with it, you end up probably winning a whole lot. But every time you play 12 numbers, keep this in mind. Four wins out of 10 spins you need. See what I'm saying? Okay. So every four spins that you win out of 10, you get, you're basically even with a small amount of profit. Um, sometimes you'll hit back to back. Sometimes you won't. Um, I've seen times where I played online where, you know, tears has turned red and it's been like 18 or 19 red. So that means it's missed almost 20 spins in a row. I have progressions for all of this. I have a spreadsheet that I made that I follow and it's missed that so many times. And I'm just like, oh man, but don't be defeated. When you start to see your bankroll go down, it's on you to, um, 
to safely land is what I'm going to say. Because, like, if you see a jet fighter, a fighter jet pilot, they're just, you know, they're going down, but they're going down at an angle or somewhat where they can land safely or as best they can. So if you see your bankroll start to go down, switch up your gameplay. Uh, that's my best advice for you. Um, the Orphalans, it, if you click on these buttons down here, it tells you exactly where these um, where these sections are or what these numbers are. Uh, Tears is at the bottom. Orphalans is at, uh, Vosins is at the top. And Orphalans is on the sides. Um, contrary to how people want to imagine this, based on the sections, 26 is the top number on the wheel, not zero. The reason why zero is seen as the number on the top of the wheel is because, for one, it is green. Most people put that illusion up there so that when you see it straight up, you say, okay, I'm going to play it. Now, if you didn't know that, get the, uh, the French wheel out or the European wheel out and you'll see it yourself if you actually see the, the, the setup of the wheel. Um, well, they're smoky. Anyway, uh, so when you're looking at it, five and ten are supposed to be the bottom. But once you see that um, the zero or the twenty-six is the top number, then yeah, go on, bro. Hey, you're in the video. Move. Thanks. Get out of there. Anyway, smoky everybody. Um, you'll see that twenty-six is the top number, and ten and uh, 23 would technically be the bottom, but for the sake of betting, if you was to bet all of the black numbers on the top and all the, the uh, red numbers on the bottom, which is high and low when I say top and bottom, um, you will actually cover from the 26 to the five, but it's just on how you, when you're betting and how you're betting as to what it means or what number is on the top. Um, that's just some useless information but it's still useful to some people if you press the back button while you're on this then it will undo the input that means it'll take the number the last number entered out if you reset the history it will clear out everything it'll ask you first and then once it does you'll get your nice little ad after you hit the back button but it'll show the screen first and then boom you'll have your little ad come in you know you can mute it or you can let it play hit the button and then everything is fresh again. Um, that, that's just one of those things. If, if I hit quit because I want to go back out and switch it to the American wheel, I can do so. Go back in. It's going to hit that same screen. I don't know. Maybe dude just found that or paid for you know the, product, uh, the rights to own it or whatever. But he uses it often. Same thing. Screen comes up. I didn't hit the do not show again. I could care less about it. Um, now this shows you 12 numbers in the sections. Also, you don't have the French bet option because it's the American wheel. Obviously you would see that right here and you've seen when I switched to settings, I just want to make sure I clarify this with everybody because people just be like, well, it didn't say this and this and this and nah, that. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, personally, this, uh, section B, I have an issue with that. The reason why is because you're leaving out double zero. Now, it might be cool, you know, uh, we're only entitled to win one pocket every time the ball spins, but if you're betting the 12 numbers and it hits that zero, you tell me, <laughs> you know, and then there's section C and then obviously section D. Everything is the same, exact same, maybe the units that you probably have to bet, but of course, with it being 12 numbers, um, you see it doesn't have one for D, which is the zeros, because you could go into a long dry spell of not seeing a zero or a double zero or a single zero on the European wheel. Um, all of this, like I said, is the same. Progressions are trash, but hey, it is what it is. Now, when you go here, all everything is the same. So basically with me explaining it through the French bets, it's the same for the American wheel. Exactly the same. You know, so... With that being said, I think I've covered everything as far as this whole app. Um, I just want to say I appreciate whoever watched this. I hope that this helped you like I said before in the beginning of the video. I've never seen an in-depth 
uh, video about it. Hopefully this gets a lot of views, helps a lot of people out. This is also not available to iTrash users. And yes, I said iTrash. I hate iPhones. I hate everything about the Apple product because simple fact that you get locked out of your phone. You just can't get in there if you don't have the password. And I mean, if you are the account holder, but anyway, we ain't going to go through that. I'm an Android user. We don't like y'all. It's okay. We can be cool, but I don't like iPhones. I just don't. So you'll have to use the emulator anyway um, if you want to do this or you just have to wait till you get home and put an Android emulator on to use this product. And that pretty much will sum up the video. I appreciate you watching. Uncle Ming, cha-ching with Uncle Ming. Yes, all that good stuff. And I am out of here.